do not do this at home. It's not worth it. Liquid metal on a graphics card is never worth it. But I need to take, this is the Red Devil, obviously the 7900 XDX. We gotta take this thing apart and we gotta repaste it or possibly liquid metal it because um, the hot spot temperature is, cause I'm gonna install an EVC2 on this thing to like go 600 watts or whatever eventually, but the hot spot is already peaking at like 100 Celsius. And from what I've read, it's a very common problem with this card. Like everyone who buys the Red Devil just has hot spot temp issues. From from what I've read, so and mine does too. So the thing the thing was though, this was like eight hundred and it was like on sale for eight hundred and thirty dollars or whatever with fucking uh, with Jedi Survivor, right? Ugh. Okay, so that's fucking today's agenda. And then we'll do like I got a PC here that we can throw it in, and then we're gonna do like stock numbers then we'll do paste then we'll do liquid metal and then compare the differences i'll leave it stock i'll leave everything stock except yeah okay that's the easiest to do back-to-back -back runs i'll leave everything stock let me just put this up how much power are we pulling here we're pulling 430 watts okay that's perfect yeah so see the gpu temperature is 57 celsius Hot spot is 89 and I just turned it on, right? It's funny, 98% passed, so this thing's stock doesn't even pass at 100%. Okay, let's go max GPU temp. Okay, so max GPU temp was 73. Max hot spot was 106. Okay, let's take it apart and use some regular ass paste on it. So what, what was the delta there? I can't remember. It was 72, 104. 106. That's a 20, that's a 34 degree delta. That's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's really bad. So 74 to 106. Yeah. 72 to 106. Sorry. Oh yeah. I guess warranty sealed stickers. Uh, it's fucked now. I'm pretty sure I could RMA it anyway. Dude, they, they should be thanking me for not RMing this 34 degree fucking hotspot delta. Oh, sick. That was easy. That was easy. What else am I missing here? We got one more plug on the end. What the fuck? Oh, here we go. Oh, sick. It looks like the stock paste job was fine. I don't see any glaring issues there. I don't know why the hell... I don't know why the hell the hotspot temps were so bad. Huh. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, I forgot this was chiplet. Totally forgot. Is this, uh, is the interposer covered up? Oh, it is. Nice. So you can use liquid metal on this. Cool. Cool. Hang on, boys. Catch up on chat in a sec. We gotta get this, this shit rolling. That looks nice, man. Like, I, I like, I, when I, I remember when I took, I remember when I dismantled my first uh, R9 Fury. Um, I just loved seeing the HBM modules. Just fucking cool. Wow, there's a lot of fucking Reddit threads about the Red Devil having overheating issues. Wow. Like, there's a shit ton of, of threads on this. I didn't know it was that bad. Wow. No wonder that thing was fucking on sale for $800. God, is it fucking... 
so weird man this even this the surface isn't even polishing there we go what the fuck is this yeah it's like it's like a rough yeah it's like sandpaper no wonder this is what the fuck bruh All right, all right, let's put this shit back together. Whew. I'm staying away from that model. What is this shit? All right, so I mean, you know what the um, golden rule is in the Discord though? Um, actually, is this a golden rule? One of the rules we have is um, always take care of yourself and assume everything you buy doesn't have a warranty. Always, because just you get products like this that are just built so fucking horrendously bad. Right? But like, so here's the thing though. Here's the thing. I bought this thing for 830 bucks. Which is what? 300, $350 cheaper than the Nitro? I'll take that. I'll just fix it myself. Right? That, that, that's the that's the pro of knowing what the hell you're doing. Just fix the buy buy that buy the broken shit on the cheap. Fix it yourself. Thankfully, this card is super easy to take apart. That's one bonus. Don't even have to take the back plate off. You better do your fucking research before you buy shit, or you better follow a creator that doesn't lie to you. It's as simple as that. Is this better? I think it is better. Let's give it a sec to heat up a bit. So now, now it's at 62 core and 85 hotspot. That is quite a 430 watts. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, let's see here. So we did max hotspot was 96, 10 Celsius drop. And then max core was 71. So a 25 degree Delta. So we reduced it from a 34 degree Delta to 25 degree Delta. Not bad. Still, still too high for my liking, but a uh, 25 degree delta is uh, that's more in line with what st what stock cards should come with, I think. So let's let's look at the coverage here on the of the paste. I don't like this corner thing that they got going on. Here we go. I it, I don't I don't know. It looks fine to me. This this corner here could have been a bit better, but yeah, the coverage looks fine otherwise. Woo! That is looking good. Dude, some motherfucker on uh on Twitter like stalked me down. He's like, I'm sorry to bother you, man, but uh I have all these questions about tuning my system. Not Twitter, sorry, uh Instagram. And you know what I replied? Fuck off. That's it. I don't reply, just fuck off. Okay. I hope this works, man. You know what I you know what I should have done? I should have I should have sharpied where the die was. Now I'm just guessing. Okay, I don't know if this is it's sticking. This is kind of sketch though. I don't know how big to make the die area. I kind of put a little too much as well. Hmm. Oh, that looks about right, doesn't it? Maybe a little bit more over here. Totally eyeballing this shit. I fucked up. I needed to sharpie it. Oh, well. Nothing bad ever happens. Uh, I want to make sure this lines up. 
Oh, yeah, I think we're okay. I, I think I nailed it. Okay, let's turn this bad boy on. Cross fingers. Okay. Okay, you guys ready? Hang on, hang on, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, we need to change the scene here, All right? Ready for the power on, dude? Okay. It's not smoking. It, it lit up. Let's go. Dude, it'd be so sick if I fucking nailed this and I eyeballed it. Hang on, God, I have, I have like fucking... Dude, I have like anxiety right now. Okay. So let's open up GPU Z first. Make sure it's nothing crazy is happening. Looks, looks, looks okay. Okay, this all looks okay too. Fuck it. I guess we're doing it. I wish there was a way to like, I wish there was, is there a way to like, just put like 50 watts into the, oh yeah, wait, there is. This thing, all right. Start the PCI Express render test. GPU load 60%. What the fuck? 70 watts, 80 watts. Okay. Nothing crazy is happening. All right, let's do this, boys. Liquid metal versus paste right now. Fire Strike Extreme. Let's do it. Let's do it. So it's it's at 50 Celsius on the core and 70 on hotspot. 50 and 71. 51, 72, 73. So I mean, just for just for now, it seems like the application of the liquid metal was okay. Otherwise, it would have fucking blown up already. So that's okay. Power, power draw 430 watts. Five Celsius reduction on the hotspot. Hey, at least it still did. Man, I fucking nailed that shit. Don't even give me that, dude. I eyeballed the fuck out of that. And I, I didn't nail it, but it seems to be, it seems to be doing its job. Although still a 20 Celsius Delta. If I had a water block for it, that'd be something different, right? So let's go here, max temp 93, max GPU was 72. So it was hovering around 92 the whole time though. So now it's a 20, well, let's just go with this though. 21 degree Delta, max 2777. And same, same, um, same max clock speed. So the only difference between a repaste, a repaste with Crynot Extreme and Liquid Metal was dropping the hotspot by four Celsius. Yeah, that's what it is. Which is not that, that's not even, uh, I, th I thought it would be better than that. What, what about the fan speed? Maximum fan speed. Oh yeah, 42, same fan speed. So yeah, that was totally not worth it. Yeah, it's yeah, if if you're if you're doing this at home, just use the paste, man. You're you're not gonna you're not gonna be doing uh EVC2 600 watts shit anyway. Just just do a good repaste on it and that works fine.